Hey guys, it's Fukis, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a working blip in build a Boat for Treasure. Credit to Waddler right here, this funny duck looking man, and also Rat for creating this mechanic. If you're new here, don't forget to join the Discord server, link in the description. We have some awesome things here. And I post some of my VIP servers when I'm recording sometimes. So go ahead and join. And you guys can like go ahead and look at the announcements and everything. You guys can go ahead and chat random stuff. I don't even know. So anyways, guys, let me just show you guys what this is. Since Jesse TC made a video on a working blimp from his older videos, I thought it'd be a great time to make a working blimp tutorial. So... I have it right here, the working blimp. So guys, as you guys can see, this is the blimp right here. And then when I click this switch, it's gonna be um, shooting out little balloons. And then when I click this switch, it's gonna make me go forward. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this switch. So um, let me just click it right here and let me just activate the last balloon. There are also no underground mechanics. So then you guys can basically fly over anything. It just uses the use of balloons like a real blimp would. And there's a little cool fire effect that you guys can add. And I'll be going over that in the tutorial. You guys can control where you guys want. Oh my gosh, Waddler's RC plane just harpooned me. Oh no, he's controlling me. Um, no, no. So to recap this build, you guys can go ahead and fly wherever you guys want. There's no underground mechanics. So you guys can fly over anything. And there's basically an infinite height limit because it uses balloons. Just like how Jesse TC used balloons in his blimp. You guys can also control the altitude of this thing. You guys can control the balloons um, whether you go up and down. You guys are basically riding on a smooth blimp. Which is also pretty cool because this thing is spinning in the back. And yeah guys. So anyways, let's go ahead and get right into the tutorial. So uh, guys, I guess the funny rat is here that we're having a war with in the community tab. Um, we're I'm just joking, I'm just joking. But the war still goes on. So guys, starting with this build, you guys want to place two blocks of any kind. Get a titanium block right here, and then put your scale onto two. Scale out until it's 18 wide, so I'm going to make sure it's even. And then scale out until it's 24 um height. So I'm just going to scale out um, right here and make sure it's at the middle block. Place two titanium blocks right here. Now place a block on top of these two blocks and scale one block on each side. So I'm going to scale it like this and then scale it out um, maybe three on each side for this. So one, that's three. So one, two, three like that. Now make walls for it. So place a block right there, scale it in and go ahead and scale it out like this. Then do the same for all four sides. Put your move onto 0.5 and then place a rod right here and then put your move back to 1 and then what you guys want to do is place a rod right here. Delete this pole right there. Then get a wooden rod. So I'm going to get two wooden rods, one on this side, one on this side. And then you guys, this is optional, but just get a torch. So I'm going to go ahead and get a torch and place three. So one, two, and three like that. Now go ahead and get a plastic block and place it on top of the middle torch and then scale it one down like this. So it's connected to the torch. Now place another plastic block on top and scale it down and then scale three blocks in total on each side. So six times. So one, two, three, four, five, six. The same for the other side. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And I actually got that wrong. So I'm gonna scale in one, two on each side. So one, two, and then one, and one. So in total, your studs should be eight, one, and two. Now scale out 10 blocks on each side. So I'm gonna put my scale on 20, this might work. Now scale out 10 on each side. So I'm gonna put my scale on a 10 and enter, and I'm gonna just go ahead and scale it out. So I'm gonna scale out on this side and scale out on this side like that. Then place a plastic block on top, put your scale onto one, and then scale it down and scale it all the way down and scale it out like this and scale it all the way out. So you should have this thin layer that you guys can make a wall with. So I'm gonna do the same for the other side. I'll measure out later. So I'm gonna just go ahead and just scale it one down and then one out and then all the way down and all the way out. And then just go ahead and make a wall looking shape. Now I'm gonna do the same for the other two sides. So I'm gonna place a block right here scale it down, scale it one out, and go ahead and scale it all the way in like that. 
and scale it like this and do the same for this side so i'm gonna scale like that scale like that scale down and scale it all the way thin so you guys have a wall so now i'm gonna actually try to make walls so i'm gonna go ahead and scale this right here and scale this right here and then connect this right here to this side so i'm gonna connect it to this side and in total this should be six blocks long or 12 studs so just look at the bottom left middle and then just scale it up until it's 12 so um right here is 12 right here now go ahead and scale up on this wall and do the same for this wall too and now just do the same for this wall and then just scale this one out like this and out like this now just go ahead and make yourself a roof so i'm gonna make a roof right here I'm gonna scale it until a half block and then scale it like this. Now just go ahead and scale it all the way in like that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and find the center of this thing and then place a block right here and then scale it all the way in like that. Then I'm gonna scale it out a little like this. I'm gonna scale it until right here which is a one block gap and do the same for this side so this is a one block gap. And then I'm gonna make it half a block gap on the wide so I'm gonna go ahead and scale this like this. So you guys can fit one block on the top and the bottom, but then you can only fit a half block on the sides. Now I'm gonna do the same for this side. So I'm gonna locate the middle with the scale tool and do the same. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this like this and go ahead and scale it at the same place. And now that I'm done with this, I'm gonna go ahead and color it because it's looking a little hard to see so i'm gonna go ahead and pick this orange color and then i'm gonna make it a little bit more orangey and then i'm gonna go ahead and paint it so i'm gonna make it a little bit more orange and paint it like this and it should give this nice cool color now for the side thingy majiggies i'm gonna go ahead and bring this a little bit darker and go ahead and do it so i need i'm gonna make it a little bit more darker until it's like this and i'm gonna do the same for this side now for this one, I'm going to put a block right in the center again, and I'm going to do the same for the other side. So I'm going to put a block right in the center and scale each side halfway in and scale two times on each um, top side. So one, two, wait, that was more than two. Let me redo that. So one, two, and do the same for the bottom. One, two, do the same for this other side. So one, two, and one, two. Now I'm going to scale this as wide as possible and then I'm going to scale one, two, three, like that. And then I'm going to do the same for this side. So scale as wide as possible. One, two, three. I'm going to do the same for this side. And then I'm going to paint them both the same color. So this side I might have messed up on the height of it. So I'm going to go ahead and scale it a little bit more up like this and boom so now i actually got it in the center now go ahead and place a block in the center of this and place another one on the side but do this while having merging level on red so i'm gonna redo this so a block on the middle so let me um go ahead and place one at the middle block on the side delete this block go ahead and get a wheel and then i'm gonna place it halfway right here then I'm going to go ahead and delete this plastic block. Then get some rods. So I'm going to get a titanium rod. And I'm going to go ahead and place one right here and one right there. And then one on the bottom. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the same for this side. So I'm going to go ahead and place a rod right there and a rod right here. I'm going to make this a little longer. So I'm going to place another rod on each side. Now I'm going to go ahead and paint this. So I'm going to paint it this color. And then I'm going to add an extra decoration right here. So it's going to make it more circular. So I'm going to go ahead and place a block at the middle, um, another plastic block. So I'm going to get my plastic block and I'm going to go ahead and place a block right here. I'm pretty sure that was the center of this thing. And yeah, so that was the center and I'm going to go ahead and scale it. So then I'm going to scale it until it's half a block distance from the actual thing. So like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the same for every single side. So there we go, we have our working blimp. So now go ahead and get a balloon, and then we're gonna be placing the balloons inside of here. So I'm gonna go ahead and place a balloon at the center spot right here, and I'm gonna place one on here. So I'm gonna go ahead and go like that, and that. Then I'm gonna do the same for this side, so I'm gonna go ahead and go, this is where it is, and then I'm gonna go one more in. Then I'm gonna just scale this balloon one time like that, then put your scale onto 0.48, and then scale it up on this side, and this side so i'm gonna just scale it up on both sides now go ahead and place a switch on the ground so i'm gonna place one right there so everything is binded to it but then we're gonna be deleting it after 
So now what you guys wanna do is go ahead and get a car seat. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a car seat and place one right over here. And I'm gonna go ahead and get two switches. So I'm gonna get one over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and place one on this side and one on this side. So these switches are actually binded to this balloon. So I'm gonna disconnect it by clicking on it and clicking on the balloon. Do the same for this one. So click on it and then click on this one balloon and it should go away. And this pilot seat is actually connected to this balloon. So I'm gonna go ahead and click it and click it. And as you guys saw, the line disappeared. So now everything is binded to nothing. So now you guys can go ahead and delete this switch. Now just go ahead and get a boat motor. So I'm gonna go ahead and place these. The, these ones are a little too fast and it doesn't make the nice look. So I'm gonna go ahead and place one ring here and one on this side. So as you guys can see, the boat motors are actually connected to the pilot seat. And now what you guys wanna do is click these two boat motors and bind it to this switch right here. So they're both binded to the pilot seat and the switch. And now for this, you guys wanna click this balloon and click this um, balloon over here at the end. So the two ends and then click on this switch over here and then click this wheel and click this switch right here again. And then click the middle one and click the um, chair and on mobile this wouldn't pop up but just click F if you're on PC so you guys are basically done with your hot air balloon so now I'm gonna go ahead and repaint some of these stuff so I'm gonna repaint all of this okay after you're done painting now go ahead and select this select this select this select all three torches um, select the boat motor and this boat motor and put transparency to 100 percent so there you guys go you got he's got a working blimp so now just go ahead and save it so let's go ahead and ride our working blimp so now what you guys want to do at first is click this switch so it's going to activate the two side balloons and it's going to activate the wheel and then what you guys want to click is this switch which is going to be walking you forward and then if you're on mobile go ahead and click on the target but if you're on pc click f and it's going to bring you up into the sky so as you guys can see we are floating up and you guys can go ahead and control it with just your arrow keys you guys are on a smooth ride in a blimp and then if you guys want to go down you guys want to click f and then click the balloon immediately so go ahead and click it immediately and then you guys are back um, when you descend. So if you leave the balloon there, you're all you're obviously going to keep on going up. But then you can pop the balloon and you guys go down. And then you guys go down back here. And you guys can re-blow up the balloon. And you guys go up, up like this. So anyways, guys, that'll be all for the tutorial. If you're new here, make sure to go subscribe right now. And anyways, peace out, everybody.